What's up? It's Mark Mozart with Sennheiser. How to start your own podcast. And we're almost getting to the end of the series. This is why episode 9 is called What's Next? We're discussing the pros and cons of getting a sponsor or advertising for your podcast. Or maybe you shouldn't monetize your podcast at all. Let's go. I believe that in order to create a really good podcast, you have to be very passionate around the topic you're talking about, or at least know a lot about it or be very experienced with it. If on top of it, you can create an opportunity to make some money with it or even make a living from your podcast, that's absolutely great. So let's talk about it because this can actually solve some people's money problems. Sponsors and advertising. The one style of sponsoring and advertising in podcasts I really believe in is when the advertisement is integrated in the natural storytelling. Let's take this video for example. I'm producing it in partnership with Sennheiser and I do actually believe that they have the best products for the task at hand, especially the microphones we were showing in earlier videos. That makes the collaboration extremely credible and this kind of partnership is exactly what you need to think about when picking a sponsor. It has to be a natural fit. Brainstorm. Brainstorm topics around the theme of your podcast and think about what products and services could be a good fit for your show. Approach. Don't just approach one, but every company you're interested in to maximize your chances. Compare. When comparing different offers, don't just think about the money. Who are the people behind the proposal? Is there a long-term perspective? Room for growing together? Advertising your own product. If you run your own business and sell products or services, you can, of course, use your podcast to advertise your own product. You don't have to advertise. Before you even think about monetizing, I would recommend to build a great reputation with your audience by delivering quality content. If you're selling a product around your podcast topic, you might be approached by your listeners without even having to sell. Waiting to be approached by your listeners requires some patience, but puts you in the better position, always. I hope this series has inspired you to start your own podcast. If it did, please let me know in the comments. I would be extremely excited to hear about it. If you enjoyed this program, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, I'm very much looking forward to read them in the comments. Also, we have created a PDF podcast guide with lots more links and infos on podcasting. The download link is in the description. 